Fecal Occult Blood Test Fecal occult blood refers to blood in the faeces that is not visibly apparent. Fecal occult blood can be a sign of a problem in the digestive system such as a growth or polyp or cancer or hookworm infestation in the colon or the rectum. A fecal occult blood test checks for hidden or occult blood in the stool. Hemospot card test is a rapid card test available in the market for detection of fecal occult blood. Test cards consist of a filter paper impregnated with the goac resin on the reactive surface, a developer solution containing hydrogen peroxide and a positive control. Contents of the kit Test cards Drop a bottle containing developer solution Sample applicators Positive control Store the reagent at 20 to 30 degrees centigrade in a cool place away from direct sunlight, fluorescent light, ultraviolet rays and moisture. Do not refrigerate. All contents are ready to use. Preparation of the patient before sample collection. Certain medications such as aspirin, corticosteroids and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can induce gastrointestinal bleeding and cause false positive results. These medications should be temporarily discontinued with the consent of the physician for seven days prior to testing and during the test period. Vitamin C, when taken in amounts greater than 250 mg per day, has been shown to induce false negative results. Rectal medications such as suppositories and iron-containing medications may also interfere with these tests and should be discontinued two days before and during the test period with the consent of the physician. For at least two days before and during the test period, all raw meat and red meat should be avoided. Raw broccoli, cauliflower, radishes and turnips may cause false positive results, hence should be avoided. Stool samples collected during menstrual bleeding, constipation-induced bleeding, bleeding hemorrhoids or when rectal medication is used may cause false positive results. A clean, dry, detergent-free glass or plastic container of a suitable size is ideal for collection of the specimen. Urine should not be passed simultaneously into the collection container. Clean pieces of plastic are convenient for transferring stool from the collection container to the transport vessel. The stool samples should be collected from different areas of the formed stool. Samples from the outside of the stool are most likely to reflect the condition of the lower colon, while specimens taken from inside of the stool are more likely to reflect conditions of the upper gastrointestinal tract. The two test fields provided in Hemospot facilitate detection and localizing the source of bleeding. Because bleeding may be intermittent, it is preferable to collect specimens from different bowel movements. Procedure Retrieve the required number of test cards to perform the desired number of tests. Label the cards with correct patient identity. Open the sample application windows labelled A and B respectively to expose the reactive surfaces of the test card. By using the sample applicator provided in the kit, spread a very thin layer of stool on the reactive surfaces on the window A. Similarly, on window B from a different part of the stool. Wait until the smeared sample has dried completely. Turn over the test card. Open the result window and add one drop of developer to fields RA and RB, that is, the reverse side of the sample smeared on the sample application windows respectively. Observe for color change exactly at 2 minutes. Even if one of the fields has a blue color, the test is positive for occult blood. Positive control available with the kit should be run along with the test samples to assess the efficacy of test cards. The positive control is run exactly like a test sample.
interpretation of results. No blue color indicates absence of occult blood in the stool. Trace blue coloration indicates presence of approximately 5 mg per deciliter of occult blood in the stool. Strong blue coloration indicates significantly more than 5 mg per deciliter of occult blood in the stool.